At the end of the day, I'm doing what feels right for me and chasing down my dream. That's like the third way in I've had since I've gotten here. I literally cannot for the life of me get under 220. Like I'm in a calorie deficit. I'm also pounding back like two, three liters of water every day when I wake up. That might be the part of the problem. Another work day. We've got nine days or 10 days, whatever it is, before time to go. Fresh twig too. Use my new Hyperlite stick, custom shaved her down really aggressively. Uh, I busted a twig uh, two days ago. My, uh, my true AX9, my Louis Domingue Pro return. I, uh, Let's just say I, I, I broke it. All we're doing is going here and back, okay? Then stop. Stop. We're gonna face the left knee. Knee goes down, up right away, because you saw him not go, and then we're gonna push it to the side. Okay. Up, 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 good. Same. Ready? Three, three times in a row. Ready? Good, stop, set, come, maintain gap through the face, good, and slide, good job, you get up, keep your feet on the 45, ready, straight through the Up, 45, shuffle back, pivot, shuffle, good, 45, good, pivot, slide, 45, pivot, slide, 45, pivot, slide, 45, pivot, slide, 45. We want to have our head playing inside the frame, inside the frame that you've created, because as soon as that head comes off and over top, what happens to my foot? Just watch. It right goes here. to my outside edge. Outside edge. Now, how am I supposed to do anything when all my weight is on my foot and my, I'm on my outside edge? Can't. The only thing you can do that for is when you go behind your head. Open your legs and go to one side. Where do you feel the pain right now? In my hip. Right. Do it again on the other side. Where do you feel the pain? Oh, right in the... Yeah. And so now we start to figure out why we've got low back problems. So as we go, bang, we make the save, push. Right, right here. Down, go. And push to see how compact you are. Yeah. You're also square. Okay, right away. We're going to go down into your butterfly. We're going to take shots, 25. The reason why I'm putting this here is because you can tell how tall the net is. So if I move this down 12 inches, yeah. then you know how tall the net is right at the mast mark. Another idea I had, and like this is one that like Steve McKee can talk to me a lot about, was that like especially like with the hips, yeah. like whether we're doing drills or practices or whatever. Like if say I make a save and it's a shot where like I need to recover, like I, I know I need to recover. Like it's not someone in a game where I'd be like, oh. So like maybe like if I'm making that save and there's actually nobody there, just get the eyes on it, like in my mind go through that rep so we're not actually physically repping it out to... Yeah, that's right. totally fine. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Was I coming back on a few? Yeah, you know how when we go over lunch, you never want to pay? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tyrannosaurus trap. <laughs> Thank you. 
I feel physically good, I'm just not happy with the result. So you see this line? That's the 37 inch mark from where I'm standing. Let's call it 36, okay, three feet. Okay. That's four feet. Have your hands above that line, so everything you do is about closing down on the puck. That's number one. You got it? You have to mark the top. Don't come into the position and get under the puck. Because when you get under it, the puck pops. But when you're over it, you close down and shut it down. I felt good. I felt really good. Yeah. I'm I'm getting to the point. I like, just based on feel. I know what I'm doing right. What I'm doing wrong. Like, like, like it's like you're the little goalie coach. My no, no, no. That's right. That's right. Okay. No. You know. Yeah, that's what you want, right? Because you're the one that's you're the one that's the uh, manager of the enterprise. You're the business. Okay. And your little your little goalie on the on your shoulder is the one that's managing the enterprise. Your brain is a business. You've got a slice down the middle of your brain. The left side has a manager, and a foreman, and the right side has a foreman of workers. Okay. If you wake up in the morning and you go, oh, I feel like shit. I don't feel like doing anything. What do you think the, the foreman's going to do on that side? We're going to not do anything. Manufacture thoughts, and then they're going to make excuses. They like, oh, I don't feel like going. I'll try harder tomorrow. Oh, it doesn't matter what I eat today. It doesn't matter how I sleep today. I'm going to go chase this skirt. I'm not going to focus on that. If you wake up in the morning and say, today is going to be the greatest day of my life on the ice until tomorrow, and until the next day where it's going to be even better, then that foreman gets alerted. Hey, the, vice, the president of the company wants us to have a really good day today, so let's get working. I need to go. Yeah, not square. No. Yeah. Stance position, you came across like this, then you brought it back, and then when you came back, it struck the puck and it went top shelf. Okay. okay? I'm going to make it known today. I like the shaving down of the stick, I don't like how low it is. Okay. So I like the feeling for you, I, I, I want you to be comfortable and I trust you, it's too small. Okay, I'll choke up then, or okay. choke down. Stick was set. To switch that way then. <laughs> you're a perfectionist. So what happens when you're a perfectionist in, a, in an imperfect game? <laughs> you're never going to get there. So you got to allow yourself to make a few mistakes here and there. Otherwise, you're you're just putting way too much pressure on yourself, right? If you get scored on in a game, it's going to happen almost every game. Okay, at least once. Yeah. So you got to learn how to manage that. Okay, they beat you. Move on. Reset. 
Um, but yeah, you, you're too hard on yourself. Just relax. Allow it to happen. No, wait, no wait, people can't see my fucking hairline. Yeah. Uh, it's my boy Danny. He's out for the ice time. He's getting some clips. I'm working on a video right now. I think a lot of people don't understand, like, as a pro, what comes with that. Like, leaving your family, leaving your friends, leaving your life, leaving, like, mom, dad, all that shit. You're not going to see it for the next six, seven, eight months. I mean, if you get sent home early, obviously, it's not seven, eight months. But for me, the goal is eight, nine months, whatever I'm not going to be home for. So I'm working on a video talking about that. He's helped me get some... Uh, clips so give him, a, give him a follow on Instagram. <laughs> I'm just really looking forward to going back to Sweden, going back to the motherland, going back to my team, my home, pick up my car, get some wheels because my team bought me a car. That's exciting. That'll be a video coming up. Um, they also got me a dehydrator for making uh, fake ground beef with vegetables. That family vibe. That's what I miss. Kicking for the boys and winning some games man. That's the that's the fun shit. Have a nice day. You as well. Oh look at that. Decent. Oh. De it's decent, boys. <laughs> <gasps> decent. You want to go to your mother's? <laughs> Grandpa, you sh** yourself. No, I didn't. <laughs> Come on now. What a beautiful day. Uh, look at this shit. People say Vancouver is the rainiest, most depressing, cloudy place ever. Every time I come to Vancouver, it never rains. Like this, this is the weather I get every time. There was one day it rained so far this trip. We're 10 days in. There's, I can count probably on one, one hand. hand. How many cloudy slash rainy days I've encountered, like ever. My mom's gonna see these like uh, pink bows or whatever you put in my hair. Oh. Yeah, I'll bet you she's gonna screenshot them and then she's gonna send them to me back. Oh, so my. Hannah's like my hairdresser. She's like my part-time hairdresser. I wouldn't say full-time because I don't come here often enough to be a full-time hairdresser. But we're gonna do like a really dirty mullet for the start of the season. And the plan that I wanted to do was to like just let her buck throughout the season and let her go. And then as the season kind of goes on, it'll kind of become a thing that's like talked about in the vlog, people know about it. And at the end of the season, do like something for charity where like people can pitch in five, 10, 20 bucks or whatever. Hell, if you want, you can come down and shave my head for me. But then we'll shave the whole thing off and then just raise some money and then end the uh, COVID mullet. When my sister was like 10 years old, she was trying to cut my hair. And then she had the buzzer going, and then she like leaned into it, and then oh, she's. No. This, that's a true story. I can see the memes coming from this already. Travis tinfoil hat. There we go. Good. Yay! Is this not like the funniest sign you've ever seen? Like, if this isn't 2021 wrapped up in that shell, I don't know what is. appreciate after last season like going to Sweden experiencing everything that I did last year was having having wheels the transportation system I know it sounds kind of random but last year having to take the bus having to take the train everywhere I went last year in Sweden was honestly a real hassle like whether I wanted to go grocery shopping get a coffee go to practice like the, the best video last season performance wise view wise was the video where I went to practice and I took all my gear on the public transit and the train to practice like you just you get a really big appreciation for like what you have and I know it sounds like a cliche but a lot of people and I'm part of this I'm guilty myself like when you come from North America you come from Canada you come from the US you go over to Europe people say be open-minded right there's a guy who left a comment I can't remember who it was the other day you know who you are I'm sure you leave a comment again but everybody coming overseas is like oh like I'm, I'm open-minded I think I can handle it I know how to deal with it well and then when you get there and it smacks you in the face you're like oh like this isn't this isn't what I signed up for this is what isn't what I'm what I'm wanting to do. I wish it was more like North America, like how small the living spaces are, how small the cars are. Get used to a plant-based diet because that's all you're gonna be able to afford if you're not making six figures. So I, I really wanna do a dedicated video on that. Like last year when I went over, the time zone change was huge. That hit me for like a week, week and a half. The culture shocks, all that stuff. A dedicated video just on that because I don't see anybody talking about that like at all. Like as far as hockey goes, coming over, having to take the train, having to take the buses, especially even in Vancouver, kind of brought back deja vu of having to do it back in Sweden, Stockholm and in Gothenburg last year. And just makes me appreciative that my team bought me a car and I got wheels this coming season. Also, if you want to pick up some awesome amino IQ, I drink this stuff during all my skates, before my skates, my workouts, promo code TRAVSUCKS, link in the description will get you 10% off. Made in Montreal, they make everything in-house, the whole thing in-house. It's awesome, great company to support. I did a video recently, whole little tour at our commercial shoots, so. At manscaped.com, there's where a lot of the back to school actions happening. You wanna get shaved, you wanna get trimmed, you wanna be ready to go when school starts, manscaped.com slash TRAVSUCKS, that first link in the description is gonna get you 20% off. New videos every Monday and Thursday at 10 a.m. Eastern. Enjoy these awesome shots I got at Richmond, and I'll see you in the next upload. Peace.